Hey, hey, welcome back to our space corner, where, where we explore the coolest mystery of the universe. Today we are going to talk about a planet that has made scientists go, whoa, this could be something big. The name of the planet, K218b. wide and questions that why science and tech will dive right through with Chocho to guide us a brain blast for you from atoms that dance to rockets that soar every fact opens a brand new door mysteries big and tiny things too it's a mind-blowing world waiting for you Right now, it's Brain Blast for you. Ready to learn something awesome? Let's blast your brain the fun way. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. But trust me, by the end of this video, you're going to remember it like your favorite snack. So, what is K218B? And where is it? Alright, picture this. Way beyond our solar system, there's a tiny star called a red dwarf and going around that star is our super star K218b it's about 120 light years away from earth that's super far like if you had a space car it would take forever to reach but thanks to some smart space tools we've learned a lot about it already you guys know what a light year is and what a Kepler telescope or GWST is? Okay, okay, okay. Let me break it down. A light year is the distance light travels in one year. And light is fast. Like, it can go around the Earth seven times in just one second. So, when we say K218b, is 120 light years away. We mean light from that. Planet took 120 years just to reach us. Mind blowing, right? Now, let's talk about space gear. There's this amazing space telescope called Kepler. It was sent up by NASA to look for planets outside our solar system. Planets we call exoplanets. And guess what? Kepler found K218b. But then, along came the cool big brother, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. This telescope is like the superhero of space telescopes. It can look way deeper and see things like gases in the atmosphere of our planet. Yeah! Science is pretty epic. So why are scientists thinking this planet might be habitable? This the fun part. K218b is in what we call the habitable zone. Earth and Sun's distance is the best example for a habitable zone. That means it's not too hot and not too cold. It might have the perfect temperature for liquid water. And where there's water, life might be possible. Even cooler, JWST found water vapor in its atmosphere. That's basically water in gas form floating around the planet. And hold up, it also detected a special gas called DMS. On Earth, this gas mostly comes from living things like plankton. So yeah, scientists got really excited about that one. Now, how is it like Earth? Are they twins or what? Well, not exactly twins. K218b is bigger than Earth. 
Some people call it a mini Neptune because it's kind of in between a gas giant and a rocky planet. But it has some Earth like vibes. It could have an ocean, clouds, and an atmosphere where water exists. So it's like Earth's distance cousin with a bit of Neptune's personality. Cool combo, huh? Who found this planet and what's with the name K218b? So, the planet was discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope during its second mission, which they called K2. Now, here's how the name works. K2 stands for the Kepler second mission. 18 means it was the 18th star system discovered in that mission. And B is the first planet found around that star. Simple, once you break it down. So, there you have it. K to 18B, a planet super far away, but with a lot of secrets that could help us understand life beyond Earth. It's like looking into space's mysteries box and finding something really awesome inside. If you had fun learning today, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep wondering, wondering, keep exploring and keep reaching for the stars.